Let's catch and smoke a fish. This is one of my all-time favorite things to do in the winter. I'm wading into some pretty cold water with my ultralight setup, I'll link it below, and I'm using this curly-tailed grub here. Nothing fancy, just giving it the occasional pop-pop, and sure enough, there it is, there's one. This was a brown trout, and it's a nice meal for one. Thank you for your sacrifice. I always put back the big ones so they can pass their genes on to the next generation, and the little ones so they can grow big. This one was kind of in the middle, so good for eating. A lot of people freaked out in my last video saying there's no humane way to kill a living thing, and I respectfully disagree. Instead of immediately putting this fish out of its misery with a blade to the brain, I could just let him suffocate, which is what most people do, in which case the fish is struggling in pain in the last moments of its life. Some studies showed that fish were still kicking anywhere from 50 to 250 minutes after they've been removed from water. So agonizing suffocation or knife to the brain. Let that baby sleep for a few hours and drop a sub to see what we end up making.